Hey gang, it's Brian here with Brian's Lawn Maintenance. We're gonna do a quick overview and rundown of the brand new Steel BR700 Backpack Blower. Let's check it out. Alright guys, right off the bat, I want to let you know how thankful I am that Steel picked us up to be one of the new product ambassadors. I believe we're the first lawn care channel to be picked up by them. And guys, I do not take that lightly. I want to say a big thank you to Steel and thank you to all of you guys that watch us and subscribe to us to make it happen. Guys, let me give you a rundown of what they sent us and then we're also going to cover the BR700. I'm going to give you my first impressions and kind of an overview of the backpack blower. So right off the bat, one thing that already makes Steel a little bit different than maybe buying from a different competitor is that they're only sold through servicing dealers. So we used Weingarts of Farmington Hill. They were gracious enough to help us out with getting the backpack blower through them. The people that are there, are their role is to help you find the best backpack blower, the best product for you and your business, instead of just going to a big box store. So guys, let me show you what they sent us. Uh, right off the bat, I have to say Steel really took care of us. They sent us a pair of outdoor working gloves. I'm a big fan. These are kind of like the mechanic style gloves. They sent us some sweet shades. I'm not sure if these are polarized, but I'm telling you what, these things are sharp, like they're very crisp. They were also able to send us some hearing protection. Guys, I never wanna go too far in a video without talking about ear protection and safety. Always make sure you're wearing safety glasses. Always make sure you're wearing ear protection. They're able to hook us up with a couple different hats. As you can see, we have a Team Steel hat, which I really like. It's a nice black, sharp hat. They also gave us two other hats. I don't know, maybe we'll give these away or something like that. And they also sent us a case of their Moto Mix. It's a pre-mixed 50 to 1. It's basically fuel. It's a higher octane. It's 92. It's got a 50 to 1 mix in there. So it's got the oil 50 to 1 combination. They use this for their uh, timber sports. You guys always watch those on Facebook and YouTube. They're a lot of fun. Those guys are crazy. But they sent us a case. We got six cans of this. So this is a preloaded mix that you can put right in the tank. Uh, I'm personally going to be saving this to use for all of our equipment to winterize it. All right guys, so let's start off right off the bat with some of the stats. If you're a stat guy like me, you're gonna wanna know these kind of details. Price point on this backpack blower is $549.95, so $550. The engine's a 64.8 cc engine, which is basically about 3.8 horsepower, or just under four. It weighs 23.4 pounds. That's pretty much in the range of all the other backpack blowers of this size. Uh, personally, I feel it's a little bit light. It doesn't feel like you're carrying 23 pounds on your back. Now, here's where the stats come into play about air volume and max speed. Now, we're gonna talk about this at length, but the max speed is 165 miles per hour, and it can be rated up to 190, I believe. And the volume is 912 on average with a max of 1,094 CFM. The max speed is what's actually getting rated out of the tip of the blower, and the CFM is also what's coming out of the tip of the blower. Some of the competitors use the stat of what's coming off the elbow. I feel still has a little bit better rating when it comes right off the tip because this is what you're actually going to be using. Now I was able to pick this up Wednesday evening from our dealer at about 3 p.m. and I was able to finish about 15 lawns that night and we would also did about another 25 lawns on Thursday, another 25 plus lawns on Friday. So I've already put this through about 60 different lawns with our business. Right off the bat, one of the first things you guys are going to want to know, is this a great blower? And my simple answer is yes. Although there's a couple things that I think they can improve, so let's go into the pros and the cons. Now, right off the bat, if you watched any of the other review videos on the Steel BR700, you're gonna notice that a lot of folks are saying that it's not as loud of a blower and it, because of the 165 max airspeed coming out of the tube, you're gonna think it's an underrated or underperforming blower. And truthfully, that's just not the case. I know a lot of you guys are gonna think right off the bat that louder is always better, but that's just not the case. This was able to blow wet grass. This was able to blow grass clippings all over the sidewalks and driveways. Uh, all of our lawns are growing very, very well. So we had a lot of clippings and a lot of bunched up grass that we were able to blow. Let's talk about the straps. I think these are very, very nice. They're extremely thick. Uh, I like how they have a two different strap design where you can pull the cords on the top and the bottom. These are called the parachute straps. Basically what you're looking to do is when this backpack's sitting on your back, you want it sitting as high up as you can. So you're gonna wanna pull these as tight as you can so the backpack is sitting up as high. 
and then you can adjust it with the bottom straps to make it more taut. I think they did a really good job with these. You have the really thick cushion on the back. It sure beats like the hard plastic that some of the other competitors use. Nice steel logo incorporated into the straps. One other part I wanted to bring up on the topic of comfort was that it seems like the whole back part is isolated. It's on a couple different springs here and a couple different brackets. And that way when you pull the trigger and you gas it, your back isn't turning, your back isn't twisting from the torque and there's not a lot of vibration because it's isolated. Let's move on to the handle. I think this is probably one of the most comfortable handles I've ever felt on a backpack blower, but it's really, really simple. I like their cruise control setting when the switch is up. It seems like it's a, a mechanism that locks and it holds in place when you flip it up to have constant air. There's other brands out there that you push it up and it seems like it's spring assisted or spring loaded in some way where it always seems to come back down and I, and I always kind of wonder what's the point. It's supposed to be in that position and stay in that position. So when you have a big backyard that you're trying to blow a lot of grass clipping, that way you don't have to fatigue your hand. Now another part of the blower I want to talk about was the easeability of adjusting the tube length. As you guys can see, you can adjust the tube length in and out based on the height of the person using the backpack blower. If you're short, you might want to have the tube a little bit smaller. And if you're tall, anything over six feet, you're probably going to want to have it more extended. Same thing for different times of the season. In the summer, I feel you can get away with a shorter tube length and that way you can blow more clippings because it's drier, it's a lot more dust. And in the spring and in the fall, you probably wanna have it at a longer length so you can blow the clumps of grass and get closer to the ground with more power. Another part when it comes to the comfort of the handle is that they have a releasable clasp that's able to adjust the length very simply up and down the tube. Now I will have to shoot you guys straight. It wasn't more than 24 hours later though that our clamp broke. It's a part that I'm sure I can easily reorder for 20 or 30 bucks, a new handle assembly. Basically, this is all hard plastic, and the clamp might have pulled too much pressure keeping that ring together, maybe from the flexing of the handle back and forth. So unfortunately, the clamp system pulled right through, and I'm not able to lock it. But honestly, I don't consider that an issue at all, because when I'm walking and when I'm using the blower, and I'm moving my arm in a different direction, sometimes I need it longer, sometimes I need it shorter. So I like how it has the ability to go up and down in the tube. Although it might be broken, I don't really think that's a big deal. So I'm not gonna slate them for that. It's still completely functional. I'll get a new part, probably 20, 30 bucks, no big deal. Now one last thing on the handle that I wanted to talk about is that I love the fact that there's a momentary kill switch. It's not an on off switch, which I'm really glad that a lot of people seem to be moving away from. When you're done with the backpack blower, all you have to do is push it down and it releases, it kills the backpack blower. Some of the other competitors, if you push it down and then you bring it back up, it'll turn right back on. So great job guys with the momentary switch. Now, last thing I wanna roll right into is fuel, the fuel capacity, fuel consumption. Now this is the only reason I wouldn't give the backpack blower a higher rating. Specifically, this backpack blower in its class is supposed to be one of the more fuel efficient models. Um, I was actually getting about eight to nine to about 10 residential lawns out of using a backpack blower like this. Regular season, regular growing conditions, nothing crazy. What I personally feel like is that the gas can is too small. It's probably half of the size that it needs to be. I know Steel says that it's a more fuel efficient model. Unfortunately, I just didn't see the gas tank lasting that long with regular 50 to one 89 mix or the Moto mix, the 50 to one with the 92 octane. No matter what, it wasn't lasting more than 10 lawns. I'm telling you what, I'm sure you guys can relate to this, but there's nothing more frustrating than getting in the back of a lawn and having two things happen. Your trimmer line running out or your gas running out of your backpack blower and you gotta go all the way back to your truck and it always seems to happen when you're the furthest away from the truck on the furthest corner of the property. Can you guys relate? So in terms of that, I'm a little disappointed in the gas can, the gas tank size. I wish it could be a little bit larger. One of the cool things they incorporated with the design was the pull start is that after you pull it a couple times and the blower turns on, when you throw it on your back and you hit the trigger, the choke will actually turn from here to here. So the choke already turns itself off kind of like an automated system, an automatic system. I like that a lot. That way you don't kill the backpack blower and have to rip it off your back and put it back on the ground. So guys, all things being said, 550 bucks, 3.8 horsepower, 23 pounds. It doesn't seem that much. It's probably one of the lighter feeling backpack blowers. When it comes to grass, I think you're gonna get away just fine. I think where a backpack blower like this is really gonna have its strength zone is with blowing large volumes with large volumes of leaves because it does have one of the in-class highest ratings for moving volume of air. And that's gonna be really good when you're doing large swaths trying to get all those dry leaves moving around. If I had to put a rating on it, which I don't know if I've ever really done that in any of our review videos, I'd give it a solid four out of five. I think there's areas for improvement. 
I think it could be a little bit more powerful in terms of speed coming out of the tip. I'm not sure what they have to do to adjust the, the, the engine and whatnot for that. I wish it had a little bit larger gas tank. I wish the collapsible stock right here had a little bit stronger or reinforced plastic or some metal in here so it, when it collapses on the tube, so it's a little bit more reinforced. So guys, any of you that are thinking about upgrading from your BR600s to go to a 700, any of you guys that are maybe coming from a 450 and want to upgrade and you got a couple extra bucks and you want to go big, I would suggest this blower big time. I think it's going to be a great addition to the steel family and the steel lineup. I wanted to say a big thank you again to you guys for watching our channel, supporting us, and allowing us to become an ambassador by Steel. I wanted to say a big thank you again to Steel for picking us up as being one of their brand ambassadors. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Do me a big favor, share it, like it, retweet it if you can. And guys, as always, thank you for watching Brian's Law Maintenance. You guys have a great day.